The following podcast has been brought to you by Audible.com. Sign up now using the URL audibletrial.com forward slash TTV to get a free audiobook of your choosing. We recommend Brick by Brick, how Lego rewrote the rules of innovation and conquered the global toy industry. You may recognize this as one of the sources we use in our show, Bionicle Autopsy. Remember, that's audibletrial.com forward slash TTV. Enjoy the show. Five, four, three, two, one, sink. sink. What's up, everybody, and welcome to TTV Talks. I'm Messinette. Uh, I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. And I'm Tahu. Let's see, guys, Man. that's how you do the intro. Yeah, it's okay. flawless. Thank you, Meso. Thank you. Kai, <laughs> you're, you're awful. Well, 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 why don't we do that for TTV? intro more, then I might be better at it. Because TTV is a different kind of podcast, LJ. It doesn't work the same way as TTV Talks. But TTV Talks, not... Actually, you know what? Ironically, I was about to say TTV Talks is less formal, but that was a far more formal intro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the yeah. thing. We take forever to say our names on a TTV episode. There's a lot of discussion. Right. That's great, but it takes forever. Okay, I'll be well, honest. We'll I, I, I love I love the intro for TTV. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I prefer um, the intro for TTV. I'm not personally. saying to make it as quick as TTV talks, but I have been thinking about saying our names at the beginning Thank and you. then having a conversation instead of waiting four minutes and then saying our names. One Nothing thing. is lost. The names what? aren't what prompts the conversation. It's just. Yeah. I think it'd be easier, kind of like Rooster Teeth podcast, how they do it. One thing I, I miss guess, about episodes... I like our order. It's like, I like having a little in, intro banter before doing the names, you know? I, I liked yeah. it when we had the intro banter over the music at the beginning. The music would come in, and then it would fade out. And we don't really do that anymore. We do the countdown and say sync. We do it occasionally. No, it happens again. It, it depends on the episode. Because so, sometimes our banter lasts like five minutes. So I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't have the music fade in and fade out. But then sometimes we have like a funny joke in the first like thirty seconds that I can kinda have over the music and then um, fade out. Okay. All right, yeah, that's so fair. it works. That's fair. So not, it, it's I'm all not. really dependent on the episode. So if you listen to the episodes it goes back and forth. Yeah. As excited as you know, this this intro actually is, I will warn anybody listening to this, it's kinda late. So Kahi and I may sound a little tired at parts and quiet, so please forgive us. It's been a it's been a rough day. Yeah, well, okay. whose fault was that? It's late for everybody. It's not like we're on a, a never part Look, of the USA. We've all we've all been doing a lot of stuff today. It's been a pretty pretty crazy day. I was out and about. Went to the store. Far you were doing something. Kai was working his four I went jobs. to school and I worked. LJ, I, you should have been working study. on recap reviews. Hey 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 hey! Stuff it, man! I was out and about this Dude. morning too. I actually wasn't oh, out yeah, and about. Look, I was at why? home in bed asleep. That's where I was. That's far. You should have been working on autopsy. <laughs> LJ, why, why aren't why aren't you working on recap reviews? I am working fan, on recap the fans, reviews. The fans are gonna have your head. I know uh, they keep like on posting comments. comments about it all the time. Uh, the fans. There's a, okay, there's been a million comments. Yeah, about what, what is up with that. the comments asking yeah. when recaps are coming back? Well, I understand. Um, I mean, uh, it, this happens absolutely every time. As I'm getting later like on to the years, everyone's super super eager. And I take a break, and everyone's like, what? And it's very common for reviewers to take a pause, but a lot of the time, like, certain reviewers, they won't ever come back for years. So everyone's really worried I'm one of those people. I guess, it's but like, it's like... They know you do this. this yeah, they, they have to be, like, new subscribers who just don't follow the channel I, or yeah. don't pay attention to the dates that videos are seven, uploaded because seven it's... Seven consecutive years, you always take a break. This one, it's not so much... You, like, yeah, there are comments, when are they coming back? There's also comments like, are they ever coming back? <laughs> see what I mean. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, like, what, that is such a jump in, like, uh, such a conclusion to jump to. It's just like, suddenly, you haven't posted a video about recap reviews in... Just a couple weeks. Suddenly, it's the end of the world. People are like, oh my god, the series is dead. It's never coming back. Which, to be fair, I guess we can't really blame them with our track record for On Air and yeah. Biocraft. Am I right? Rip and peace on eBay today. Well, like, on eBay today, <laughs> I'd say it's a big deal. Because Ben just stopped and one day Invict- and it never came back. So and that was Invictus like a analysis. show. Well, yeah, I mean, let's, let's, Invictus let's, analysis is on hiatus because... Obvious reasons, Might yeah. cut out. Yeah, Rip and peace mange. <laughs> yeah, because obvious reasons. But, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't really know why eBay today got... Tank. The reason that Ben always said was he didn't want to do it, and also, uh, I believe, basically his material ran dry. 
there's only so many times you can make fun of a set built wrong <laughs> before I guess it that's... starts to get stale and not fun. But I guess that's true. Ten episodes. That, that's so little. But there was so much good stuff in those ten episodes. Don't you remember the skeleton gore ass? Yes, yes. Uh, hey, we don't talk about that, okay? But yeah, I have noticed that. A lot of comments are constantly asking, are the recaps coming back? The recaps? Granted, it has been a month until, you know, since I've released a recap video. But that's normal. It's very standard. Comments are it weird. Just, it's because of recent. It, it just seems like if people had been following us for more than a couple months, they would know that you take breaks between recaps. Yeah. And if they are new and they actually paid attention to when the videos are uploaded, I mean, I don't know. For me, I always look at the date things are uploaded when I'm watching them just yep. to see how old it is because I don't want to post a comment on a video that isn't current. Dude, when is the yeah. last time you posted a comment on a video? Like that is it, oh, not me? on our channel. Like, yeah, when did, when's the last that time that you That is great. I, ha- I, I don't post comments. You are absolutely right. Cause right. Ever since we started doing our own channel, I, I don't post comments on other people's videos. Right. Yep. I, I post comments when I want to congratulate or encourage somebody about something they've done, be it on my account or the TTV account sometimes for extra praise. I'll just be like, KUTGW 12 out of 10 thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> right. I, I, yeah, there have been a few times where I posted on like Jang, uh, Jang Briggs' videos. Yeah, no. yeah, I never, I I never post well thought out things anymore. There's no need to. Yeah. I do, uh, there have been times where I've like, I'll ask like if a, there's a m- music in the video, I'll ask where that music is from. Oh, you're one of those That's, commenters. Yes. Oh God, I hate. Wait, I never answer. I hate that question. I absolutely hate that question. Like, oh, what song is this? Where can I get that song? First of all, as a content creator, I I want my videos to feel special. I want people to come to that to watch that because I'm the only person who can make that. So, like, when people ask for that song, it's kind of like saying, "Hey, so uh, how did you make that video? Can I, how how can I get the assets that you're using?" in that video so that I can make a video like yours. I mean, That's I what I feel like. Okay, That's I mean, what I feel like I, when people I, I, I ask, what you, music are you using? Um, whenever I ask him, I'm always like, I'm just interested in that song. I, I maybe like he just really likes the song. I like that song. I want to find it. There's one guy who did like a compilation of like uh, the Achievement Hunter like heist or something and he had a nice song playing in it and I was like, where did you get the song, man? And he, he linked me to the album and I got it. I'm sure that is all, I'm sure that is often the case. But maybe I'm just like that, though. I don't know. I, I don't like sharing assets towards creating something that I made. Because I feel like that lessens the, the specialness of it. Right. And so, like... Where you going? For, so, like, for our videos, we've got a lot of um, music that's, like, uh, sampled um, that Vin created. Right. Uh, using um, pre-made samples yeah. and stuff. So, it, it's, like, custom mixes that I think are special to our channel. And I, I'd like to keep it special to our channel you know I don't, I don't like just giving those things out also there was that one time back when we were very like very early on ttv we had an audience of like 12 people at most we had another bionicle podcast that sprung up oh my i called, forgot about this called destiny cast <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> the Shut only up. reason we're giving you publicity now is that they're dead and over with you can't yeah they don't they anymore. don't exist anymore this is a podcast that doesn't exist they exist I don't even know because if you we're talking them. about them probably but the the, the, mem- the members of this podcast knew us um one the, one of the head hosts was part of ttv um and they branched off into their own thing the thing that really branched annoyed off. me though, everybody got fired and they decided to go and do their own <laughs> podcast because they couldn't do it here anymore. I'm trying to be, like, nice and politically no, 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 correct. No, 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 let's not mention... I mean, there's a reason we came out on top. There's a reason, like, we're the oh Bionicle God. podcast. This is, Kai, why don't like Kai, you. Kai, this is why you don't have any votes <laughs> in, in the TTV poll. <laughs> Thanks, guys, I'm by the way. I'm giving them the truth, but I'm not trying to sugarcoat them. They can't handle the truth! What I was getting to was that that podcast, the very first episode, I think they used our intro theme song. Mm-hmm. And no. I, I think they used it mockingly. They were like, oh, we're not TTV, we're Destiny. <laughs> but either way, it was re- it was really obnoxious hearing like our theme song in someone else's production. Yeah. Right. It needs the and, other two virtues anyway. It, it, the, the, mean, the funny thing about that is uh, BZ Power was running a podcast around that same time, and they used one of their songs in the same intro, <laughs> and they got the oh, topic right. shut down. <laughs> Oh wait, no! That's they didn't get shut terrible. down. They were basically given like a a cease and desist. Like don't. Yeah, do that. I remember that because yeah, they they used our theme song and they used the BZ Powercast theme song. Right, and it was like written by uh by one of the. It staff was a completely original song. Yeah. yeah, 
that, that, uh, like, at that point, ours was not an original is. song. Now it is. But at that now point, it is. There's things that song. should be kept under wraps. That's the moral of this. I do like Basically. that. Basically. That's not bad. So, yeah, like, ba- ba- like the reasons people were removed from the <laughs> I wasn't going to bring them up. I was just saying that they were people that were that were part of TTV and fired, and that's why they decided to make their own podcast. Uh, okay, Kahi. Kahi. Just, just, just stop it. Just, just stop it. Go, go back to <laughs> commenting, this asking re- for music. This is, this is or legitimate this stuff. But yeah, back, back to what originally brought this on, or brought this on, is just that. Yeah, I like, like it. Yes, sir. I, I hate comments that ask for music. I actually found it really funny when that stupid um, meme was going around. It wasn't really a meme, but like um. That uh, when people will just reply with Darude Sandstorm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, did, I didn't think that I, was I super love funny. that because I absolutely hate it when people ask for music. Yeah, I, 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 I think those comments can be annoying if they're asked too many times. I always go and like look in the comments and see that uh, you know if people have Fair asked enough. them before. Okay, that's that's actually another thing about comments, especially in YouTube. It's like people don't read the comments. Yeah, okay, that's what that's what I hate. People say, like they just. It's they ask like the same they, question. They ignore it's the fact practice. that people have asked this question beforehand. Exactly. That's really it's obnoxious. Practice on like forums and stuff too, and it's very irritating. I mean, yeah, it is really irritating. It's like why, why can't you just take a second, like a, a a single minute, to just look and make sure the question that you're going to ask hasn't already been answered? It seems like that'd be less work. You don't have to go out of your way to type up something so that someone can respond to you. You can just no, find mean, the answer. You don't have to wait on exceptions. anyone. Like, for instance, on forums, there are typically 60, 100 page long topics you may not want to call yeah. them through, but that's few and far between. A lot of the times, people are just lazy. Well, and, okay. Like, the answer's right staring them in the face, and they just don't read it. I mean, I, I, there's a limit to how much I expect this to be. You know, like, you know, I know some popular YouTubers have comments, you know, that grow in the several thousands of comments. I don't expect somebody that, to okay, read yeah, through that, all That's of them. different. Yeah, that's With different. Us, we only have... I don't expect people to watch through, like, all of our old videos and get, you know, stuff that was talked about in another video. I, I get that people will just see a video and then want to know something based off that. But just go through, like, usually... A lot of times, your question will be on the top comments. Just read about maybe, you know, five, six, seven. Yeah, of the you top don't even comments. have to scroll down like five right. comments down. You might see your answer. Yeah, exactly. Now, you know, if it's buried under that, fine. Okay. You, know, you should try asking it. It is harder that way when there's thousands of comments. But we get so many comments. And I guess. That are we, 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 but we generally don't get more than 100 per video. Like, 100 no. is kind of generous, depending on the video. Like, I know Autopsy typically gets a lot of comments, <coughs> but something like, uh, like, um, the mock spotlight doesn't really get like a t- well. Actually, I say that, but Ben's last one got a lot. Jeez. You okay, that Sorry. guy died. Yeah, yeah, died. No, I knew died. He died. Yes, but yeah. Well, I mean, like, I guess one thing I should be a little merciful with for the recap comments. Yeah, they're probably new fans, new fans that may not be familiar with LJ's schedule. They may not have seen the older episodes. They may not know he takes breaks. Um. And I see a lot of confusion like that sometimes because we do get an influx of new fans, and we also get fans that don't watch all of our videos well, to know the answer to their <coughs> questions. Case in point, Biocraft Chronicles. <laughs> <laughs> to this day, there have been there just was a comment yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What happened with this movie? Because because we announced its hiatus on the ten thousand subscriber live stream, which not everybody watched. <laughs> so at some point, we will probably need to make a video about that we will I, mean, I, I think there are points where mercy should be had i mean also, also i will points get where it's irritating i will give this to the people who have not seen like newer members who are just coming and watching the recap reviews because once a video is uploaded like you don't have to wait for it to come out now they weren't here when the last recap were out they weren't here when that break happened so they obviously don't know that there's supposed to be a break they're used to seeing all these videos come out every like what tuesday or so for a review, and it's going that way for like maybe a month or two, and then suddenly there's a huge gap in them after the years ended, and they're just like, "Whoa, what's going on?" Well, here, here's the thing with that. First of all, a couple of things. I think in regards to the comments asking about music and where that music is from, I think those could be handled a lot better. They'd be way less irritating if the commenters made a comment about the video. It's like posting a topic on the TTV message boards and just saying. Hey, what 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 set is that piece from? And not making any mention about the mod. Okay, yeah. If they you talked about the video and then at point. the end was like, by the way, may I inquire as to where the music came? Oh, you know, I always do that. Yeah, it's that not is like I just an make excellent a comment. Point. That, like, that, that's that music from. I always make a comment about the video. 
LJ, that, that that's is exactly the reason why I find it annoying, I think. It's yeah. just that it's like people, I don't even know if they watch your video. It's like they just click on the link and they're just trying to pry you out of, out of, out of the music you used. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like they is. actually watched it or not. Right. And that's really annoying. Exactly you're using what you did and just trying to grab something from it. So they can yeah, and just trying to get I something get out of it. That's annoying. I mean, yeah. So it just seems like if you're going to ask for music, at least make a comment on the actual video itself, too. For me, that is, like, super annoying, but there's something worse. Oh, Oh boy. You you ask a question, that's fine, the question can be dumb, but I'll answer it. Unless I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. You guys talked. I'm a little mad. I'm a little mad at you, Kai, because you talked about this briefly on the TTV podcast, and I really, yes. really wanted to save it for a TTV talks. Where you I know. About comments. Mesa wanted to too. Here's the thing. I said. I said. Like, I get that. I get you want to. You guys want to talk about TTV talks? TTV podcast has a much bigger audience than TTV talks does, and we can at least get this small part that everybody should already be doing out there. So, like, we can talk about comments this entire thing, but the one thing that I really hate, and mess up, I, I'm with you, is with the Google Plus thing. You should have Google Plus thing. That's a message we should tell all our fans, and TTV had a much bigger audience than TTV Talks does. Fair That's- enough. But And, to our credit, after we talked about it, people are listening. There's this one diehard fan of ours. I believe is his uh, name is Tony... Echo Zap. Yeah, he was he was a big one. I always saw he's, posting, he's but I could never reply. Long, right. long time fans, and he just was not able to be replied to, and it was very yeah. sad. Okay, so for the record, if you're listening to this and you're not really sure what we're talking about, there's this feature on YouTube that where YouTube connects to their stupid service Google Plus. <laughs> and back when they initially introduced Google Plus, they kind of forced you to merge your YouTube account with your Google Plus account, and you were given an option to opt into it or not. However, if you didn't create a Google Plus account and you chose not to um, combine your accounts, you are no longer allowed to be replied to. So if you're posting a comment on a video, other people can't reply to you. So if you're if if you notice that you make a lot of comments on videos and no one is no one ever seems to acknowledge your existence, it's because they can't. You probably don't have Google Plus attached to your account. Also, is even when you do get. Uh, uh, sync Google Plus to your YouTube account, you also have to change the setting to allow comments afterwards. Right. Yup. So it's oh, like, man, it's like, so close. it's like Toby two, two levels. That. Yeah, there's multiple different things, and to, to be fair, it's a problem with Google Plus. It's not a problem with you. You YouTube changed it. You should not have to sync your YouTube account it's really to dumb. a secondary uh, platform and it's then really check dumb. an option. Nice. So right. we're not saying, like, you're a terrible person, but I mean you're participating in a community and people should have noticed by now that nobody ever replies to them. <laughs> you, yeah. you what, think, what, do think, what do they think? They're just unloved and nobody cares? I, 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 <laughs> I would think so, <laughs> honestly. I think just people are like, oh, I guess nobody noticed my comment. And there have been, I can't, likes it is a count, countless times I wanted to respond to a comment, like with the TTV account or my personal account. That you know, it's asked a question, it's, and I'm it's always people answer. asking questions. Right. It's always people asking a question that they want answered, and that you can't reply to them. Right, like a lot of the recap questions. <laughs> people that don't have Google. <laughs> when are they coming back? Oh, uh, oh. Well, I guess I can't tell you. See, <laughs> that, that that's one other thing. Real quick, complete different tangent in regards to Google Plus. Stinking yeah. YouTube! They suckered me into one. Because I didn't want to get well, one, because it was just needlessly wasting time. But the they were like, here, you want to change your name on YouTube? You can do it. Click here, click here. And I go through the steps, I go through the motions, I change my name on YouTube to Toa LJ. And it that is how they made me make an account for Google+. Plus. Tricked you into That's it. That's hilarious. But, I mean, I, it's well, a good I mean, thing you did it. Well, yeah, because, I mean, it yeah, is. I had to do it, it anyway in order to be replied to and comment, but... Fudge! That was angering. The thing is, they they they, they try to trick you with that whole like you can change your name thing too, but your your name is still what you initially signed up for in the URL. Yeah, it's still there. It doesn't matter. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it, you could have also just read the facade. thing. They, they had like they it clearly said you will be signed up for a Google Plus account. I don't know if you remember. Ah, uh, no, no. It uh, it, it was like I I don't. Remember if it, it did, it was in clear. fine print. Because just well, I, mean, I look at those things, I read. The, the terms of service. Well, I mean, it, obviously you... I mean, I'm just I'm just saying, it signed you up for a Google Plus account, so obviously there had to be, like, some sort of 
place where you just slipped up. And Not read blatantly. That. It was incredibly slip. It's like a banana peel. You step on it, you're like, oh, it's a banana peel. I'm stepping on it. And then you slip. I don't think people, people actually slip on those things. Oh, I've slipped uh-huh. on a banana peel. You <laughs> should <laughs> probably get help. It was the same day I, I ran into a pole. It was the same day I was walking down the street reading like a Lego catalog in, in 2008. I was like, OMG, it's it's Lewa Fantoga. In, Bang! In 2008. The Great <laughs> oh, Fall of 2008. Why does it not surprise me? <laughs> another, thing, slip. another thing about YouTube comments, and I guess comments in general, and I think I've got kind of a uh, of an unpopular opinion when it comes to comments here at oh, TTV. No. Oh, boy. Bring it on. I <laughs> I don't like to sugarcoat my comments mm-hmm. when I reply oh, yeah. to people. Yeah. yeah. So when, when someone makes a comment that I find stupid, I will tell that person that that comment is stupid. <laughs> you see, I do agree to an extent. The thing is... We had this a discussion a while back, especially regarding the TTV message boards, because we had a user who was being incredibly, brutally honest. The unfortunate thing is, he was focusing more on the brutal than the honest. Yeah. Those are my and there, there definitely my is a levels to that, where yeah. it's acceptable and where it isn't. Yeah, but I agree. Yeah. I would love to be upfront with everyone, but... Yeah, because, no. I don't know, I, I get... I, I think with me, it becomes a little hard to read some with comments it's kind of hard to read like a tone that's being made especially if you don't use emotes or anything i don't like to use emotes i think emotes are kind of stupid (laughs) emoticons smiley faces you never use actual emotes even on skype you use like your own variants yeah i use my own variants i don't use the actual things i I don't know man i faces are dumb (laughs) faces are dumb and then there's there's people like me that punctuate every sentence with a tongue face everything you say has a tongue Uh... face (laughs) That's annoying. I don't. I don't want to go out of my way to do that. And I understand, like reading sarcasm or reading like a tone is hard to do with comments. But I don't really think about that. I just go ahead and say what I'm going to say. And yeah. a lot of times, people will take it the wrong way. Sometimes they'll take it the right way. But yeah. I don't like to sugarcoat things. I don't like to pretend like, oh, you can just you could you could be super super insulting and critical, and just expect to just not get, or just expect a nice rec- like reply back. Yeah, you know. If people make a really nice comment that is constructive, well thought out, well they get a nice, well thought out response. If they post a comment where they're just being a jerk, they're going to get a jerk response. That's how I work. And I, I, I don't know. I find it funny that because there have been instances in the past where I've done this and they use the fact that we're YouTube creators against us in this instance. Oh yeah, like we have to be kind. Like we yeah, like we are no. obligated to be nice to them because they are viewing our video. Look, that is that's that a very false. Like, that we, is the absolute most annoying thing I have ever experienced out of comments. What people like that need to realize is that yes, we are content creators and yes, our community we value the community interaction more so than anything. I value our community more than I value any number of views or subscribers or anything because those are arbitrary numbers. They do not re- re- do not reflect the fan base. We appreciate you, but likewise, you need to realize that our fan base and the internet in general is m- millions and thousands of people that comprise the internet. They're not people you you can't say you must be nice to the fan base it's a very broad thing to say yeah <laughs> we're dealing with people we're not dealing with a fan base and people can be jerks and people can be nice it all varies on a case by case basis and so do our responses right yeah. and I, I don't I, the most, yeah. I'm, I'm not really I, 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 I don't really see what because we're not even that we're not even like we're not celebrities or anything we're just no we're just a bunch of kids making videos in our free time and uploading it to a channel. At no point did I start this thing thinking that we were going to have 15,000 subscribers. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do this because I enjoy doing it. And Likewise. I don't, I don't do it just to try to get subscribers. I'm not doing it to try and try to um, <clears throat> make everyone happy so that they can contribute to our success and stuff like that. I don't care about that. I just want to keep making things and hopefully other people enjoy it. So and if people do enjoy it, they'll come, and if they don't, they'll leave. Exactly, and that's perfectly within your individual right. Yeah, and I don't, so. I don't feel like I have to act a certain way just so you stick around. 
Right. No. Now, of course, the, that being said, I mean, there's there's different levels of like customer. Well, we talked about this again before, but there's different levels of like public relations and how that has to be handled. We're not saying that we can. Oh, we feel like we can get away with anything. You know, if you say anything against this, we can say we can reply against you however we want, and we can get away with that. There's still like exactly. an expectation to be a decent person behind this, but you also have to it's realize using VAR right. as an example. VAR is not a jerk; he's just blunt. No, here's here's <laughs> here's the thing, right? If you're I going to yeah, say these sure things, if you went up to VAR's face and said these things, and VAR would retort at you back, that is like that's the level of encounter that you're going for. If you're going for this level of like super criticism, or you're going for this level of you know this kind of attacking mode. That's how you would have retaliate in real life, and you can't right. use the see, internet. That, see, as that's like the thing. A, a lot of people hide behind their computer screens. Like right. they'll say stuff knowing that they're not going to have to actually encounter this person in real right, life. Right? Exactly. But if, mean, you, if you were, if, if you wouldn't say this to someone in person, why are you saying it right now? It's the same thing. Right. Exactly. People have a tendency to just to pretend the the internet gives them this anonymity and to use this anonymity in a way that they would never use it in real life. If any of these people saw VAR at, like, Comic-Con or, like, you know, just, I don't know why they knew it was him, they wouldn't, even if approaching him, they wouldn't say these same things. I mean, a good majority, at least. You know, there's probably at least yeah, one person. Then, I'm sure there are, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure there are people sure that would some people that would be like, <laughs> you know, internet different. anonymity is the, the possibly the sharpest double-edged sword. We talked about that so much during our Greg Farshi discussion and, like, his involvement right. on the message boards. Yeah, yep. but there's definitely an issue there. Not that I'm against anonymity, because I no. think that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, but it's important. I, I have a it really is a double edged sword. I have a really great example as to why I think it's good, and I think it's you know, whatever, what have you. Um, recently, I came across yeah. some fans of ours in person at this this uh, this group that my younger brother and I are part of, and my younger oh, brother's yeah. been a part of it for a long time. And there are, are several people there that are fans of ours, specifically even the recaps. Well, one of them found out that I was me. And so he goes on to our videos, and he says, Oh, I know LJ's brother, and his name is... Oh, I know LJ, and he lives in... And so on and so forth. You see, that would have been... What have you. I deleted the comments, blocked his account, and we hashed it out with him in person. It would have been all fine, good and all. Except his YouTube account was his full, real name. <laughs> and the great part is, he's a part of this group. My younger brother, Speeder, it's a military auxiliary. My younger brother is a way higher rank than he is, and he, he could have re- written him up and reported him all the way up to the higher ups. Wait, could he? That's hilarious. Yeah. For, I mean, like, it's, I mean, I, no, well, I'm no. this is legitimately asking, like, is this something that you can do in the military? Can you get them written up for something that's not military related? It, well, first, well, you see, here's the thing. There's something in this, it's an auxiliary. I just want to stress that. Right. Uh it was breaching what's called OPSEC, operational security. You know, revealing someone's location, their name, stuff like that. It's basic, don't say this, don't say that, don't uh, okay, tell okay. people. Well, I mean, are you, showing, are you a part of this too? And that's why it was like yes. a, a breach of... Yes, I okay. am. Okay, all right. Yeah. That makes sense. The time this happened, I just joined, actually. And I'm that's actually a still a higher... I'm, I'm higher up than he is, too. So That's a very interesting scenario, meeting fans in real life. Right. It is. Everything was hashed down, one up, but it's interesting because he didn't use his any alias or anything. It's his actual name. And I kind of find that interesting when people I, do that. Yeah, I, well, I mean, I think that like, a lot of people just don't care. I yeah, think, see, I, and a lot of people don't care about that. It's not on their radar. And I see, I, I'm one of those. People, I don't really care about that. I, I chose my alias just because I thought it was cool when I was a kid, <laughs> not because uh, yeah. I was afraid of using my name or anything. I chose my alias because I strung letters together in the span of four minutes. And yeah, it right, exactly. Same. <laughs> I thought I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm so cool, murder man. I, I did, <laughs> yeah, I did not do it to hide my identity. I did it to make a mock, and then I just assumed that mock's identity. Yeah, and it, put it some was, numbers. So you it. stole your mock's face, basically. You stole your mock's identity. That person, basically. Well, I the, the I did do it. Character. Fun fact: in my initial story, the Messinat character was the main villain fighting against a team of. Basically, Hordika Toa ripoffs, and wow. I eventually assumed the identity of Mesonac, and he became my self mock. And fun times are had. I did not set out to have anonymity on the internet, so it's funny how as you grow older, that shifts in your paradigm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny for it, me now, too because, like, when I first started, I 
took it specifically so I wouldn't have my real name on the internet. And if you remember, I don't know if you guys remember, when I first joined, there was a huge deal about like not letting anybody know who my real name was. For it was a bigger about, deal back in the day right. when there were things like predators like well, I mean, tricking kids and then it was, it was left over there. from the AOL yeah, generation. It's still, it, uh, don't get me wrong, it still is, but it was very as the prevalent. Internet has gone on and become larger and expanded, and social media right. has grown as well. So have people's intelligence. Yeah, set. so as right. intelligence to protect it's and things to protect huge them from issue, that. But years ago, it was much worse. Years it was ago, much you, much like, worse. The internet was just an added thing that you did. It was like a separate place you could go to. Now the internet is so integrated within our lives. Like for me personally, I feel like you know. Uh, right now, I have like a Twitter account, and if you go to my Twitter account, my name is on there. Uh, it's at the Jonathan Juan. Like I, yeah, I, ha- I have that out, and I, I push it out there because I feel that right now, one, I'm a professional, and I'm going into a computer industry, so you know you get your name out there. And two, I am kind of interacting with a lot of professionals in the Lego environment, like Merlin Mann, exactly the the writer of the Bionicle shorts. I tweeted at him. He's tweeted at me. He's favorited some stuff. You know, favorites TTV stuff. That kind of... He's a pretty cool guy. Right, he's a pretty great guy. But I mean like that... Shout out to you, Merlin, man. You can feel <laughs> this is like the fifth time it. we've done this. I know. But I'm, I'm saying that like it's <laughs> an it's a way to get there. Like it's a way to get right. your name out there it, now. That, as a, that it wasn't starts to change the older you get and the more comfortable you are with right. your own security. And I would and say even now... The more the intelligent internet. you are with how right. you want to be portrayed on the internet as well. As a kid, anonymity is much more important. It, it's God, better to be older, safer. You can make the choice. For yeah, your it's own self. better to be safe. The I'm younger sorry. you are, and it, it really depends on what presence you want to have and who you want to see, or who who you want pe- or what information you want other people to see. Because right. if there's something you don't want people to see, then you don't want to put that out there. Right. I mean, and it's funny as you grow older, anonymity becomes your choice. But like you mentioned, it's better to have that anonymity when you're younger. But it's actually the opposite people don't care about it anymore because social media is so integrated into what you do. If you have a Google Plus, for instance, it's probably your real name because you probably converse with people. Not that is true. Right. Like and Facebook. Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff. Tumblr, especially. Right. It has people, kind of changed. It's definitely changed because, like Kai said, it's more integrated now. Yeah. It, the older people, the old guard, I guess, can adapt that as things go along we no longer meet in chat rooms just... and stuff like that's not the way we communicate <laughs> nowadays that, that's where all the username right yeah stuff chat comes rooms from. aren't really a thing anymore yeah but that's <laughs> where all the username <laughs> stuff came from you would go you would go to a chat room and you would go on like aol yeah go, like chat rooms were right, where all the danger yeah, was too right yeah. you would be How talking to these other people and it would be kind of weird and granted the internet was a really weird place event back too you know oh my god the internet was so weird was, man i feel old now <laughs> we all met each other on we, we, we were in the, in the very beginning of the internet age facebook was just becoming oh. ubiquitous you know Chat rooms are just dying out. We were Forums okay. No, we were we were in out. the beginning of the modern internet age. Fair enough. Yeah, right. yeah. I guess we're that millennials. Be stressed. You know, yeah. Three out of four of us here met on a chat room. For those that don't know that story, it was Venom's chat room. Uh, I mean, I yeah. technically, I technically met you guys we on a there. chat room. You were you people used to too. use Yahoo Messenger. I do. That, <laughs> that's I that's how that me and LJ met. Time. That's how me and LJ met. Was through Yahoo Messenger. All the time, I I introduced so many people to to Yahoo Messenger. Like way right. back in the day, look. No, yeah, story. no. LJ's the reason I got on, uh, Yahoo Messenger too, because we wanted we had to oh. talk about uh, something that went down. We use AIM and stuff too. Yeah, man. <laughs> I think some uh, people yeah. still well, use AIM funny, to this funny day. Story. Just I, I'm pretty, pretty sure that stuff. actually got canceled or discontinued. No, I know. Like, uh, yeah, uh, right. was talking like a lot of busy power staff. Uh, no, but anyway, what what is your story, Messa? I was just saying years ago. During TTV's early days, maybe it was IBCP, I don't know, it was TTV because we had some cast members there. We were going to do a Christmas special that Skype went oh, down. It yeah. was TTV, was I was there, I remember this. We, we wanted to do it on Yahoo Messenger, <laughs> and it was so bad, there was no way to do it on Yahoo Messenger, it was so bootleg of a service. Man. So wow, comments are funny. dumb. <laughs> Yeah, comments are done. That kind of went, went off. Comments are dumb. Bit. I'm I'm just reminiscing yeah, about the yeah. internet and how how bad websites used to look. <laughs> oh man, you can go to spacejam.com. It's the same it was in 1995. I think. If you want to know what websites used to look like back in the day, search Mask of Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> or busy no, power. They, they changed. changed. Mask anything. of Destiny changed. Did they really? Yeah. Yep. No it's way. Like, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going. Totally I'm going to have to go see this too. Mask of Destiny. 
Okay. Uh, sure. Whoa! They did change. Well, slightly. It's slightly. It's, it's so minor, mask. but yeah, they did. It's a very minor change. Yeah. You see what Mask of Destiny. The people looks at like, Mask of Destiny, or more particularly Imatron or Richard, he is the most dedicated Bionicle fan that I have seen, because he's still around and he's writing news articles and he's interacting with his small community. This it's, is a website that's been around since the beginning of Bionicle, right. like 2000. It, was, it, was, it used to be really huge competition for like a lot of the, the older Bionicle uh, Busy fans. Power. Busy Power. It was, you know, Busy Power, they, yeah. It, they used to have a word filter, and it would filter out the word mod, like short for modification, because people would use it to refer to Mask of Destiny. That's how like ubiquitous this, this website was. I mean, it's, I, it's yeah. hilarious. But, like, it looks, it, this website, this is basically what everything looked like. This it was is bad. Like it was maybe two thousand seven, two thousand eight ish. It's it's blocky, but it's not minimalist. It's just tables. It's CSS. Yeah, it's tables. just tables. No, no one. Yeah, no one really knew how to use CSS effectively back then. This was no, basically I mean, what all websites five. looked yeah, like. Basically, yeah. The web yeah. archive is a great yeah, let me look tool. At Busy Powers front page again. My BZ Powers has changed a bit. BZ Power used to look much different back like th- 2006 and prior. It's a bit yeah, more modern now, that. but it does still have that aged look. Right. The forums have definitely changed for the better, I think, but the main page still is kind of... Yeah, same. the main page is definitely very dated. I can't believe that TTV website, though. That thing looks... Psh, wow. I, yeah, yeah so only we used it more often. Ah, oh, ouch. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> those, those weekly message board highlights of our... <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh, okay. We, we need to get a website started. Uh, yeah, it's a, we actually have been working on the website a bit behind the scenes, thanks to Takuma. So. Yeah, we're doing, I, I can't believe that it's been like maybe four months since we made the website and we're already working on a relaunch. So. Yeah, we need to. We're sick. sick. We, are, we are constantly yeah. updating, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, comments, right, comments are dumb. Me. Actually read comments before you make a comment. Stop right. pretending like you've got some kind of leverage over content creators because you don't. And make a Google Plus account. Stop and asking make a good when stuff Google is going to come account. out. Um, and stop asking for music I, and respect internet anonymity. I, <laughs> I think music, I think music all... asking is okay. All right, I'm, 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 no, I'm, no, it's, no, it's not. No, it's not. I think that just so long as long as you do it respectfully, right? I, I don't, you know, I don't think that's wrong. Asking the resources, you you don't need to give them to me. But I don't think it's wrong to ask. The thing is, Very this wrong. all boils down to one golden rule. Do research. I was going to say it, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, but sure, okay, do research. That too also sure. works. Okay, do Ka- Kahi, you're a really good human being. See? So are you, LJ. So are LJ, you. you're fired. You're fired! Can't do that. You can't do that onto me, can you? Ha! <laughs> oh, just wait till I get my matches. Checkmate! Atheists, or in this case, people that believe in God. <laughs> and on that note, hey, what's in? Yeah. So, thank you everybody for listening to DV Talks, and we will be back next week with our next exciting topic. And this was a long maybe, episode. This was. This was a pretty long episode. Discussion. We're going to talk about Avatar, but that got postponed. <laughs> we'll do that next week. Don't worry. Yeah. So, thank you all for listening. We will see you all next week. I'm Messinac. I'm Vardaran. I'm LJ. I'm Kahi. And this was TTV Talks. Goodbye. This is the first time I've not been confused by the name word. It's exactly the same word. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheating. <laughs>